They say here in Kost that you need to have your sunnies and they are not wrong. So let's show you around. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And welcome to sunny Karlstad. It is a beautiful day here today, thank God, because we are in the second sunniest place in Sweden after Erland, which was raining the whole time. <laughs> and we've actually been here for a few days and it has been raining the whole time. So we've kind of just rested, recuperated, and recovered from the few weeks of travel and filming. It's been pretty intense these past few weeks, so it has it's been, been nice to be here and just relax. It is a university city, so there's lots of young people walking around, which is really nice. It's got a good vibe to it. Mm. And it's a beautiful day today, so I think we should start off by going to the most common coffee shop in all of Sweden. This is our delicious <laughs> caramel frappuccino. Mm. They're so good. This place here, Espresso House, they've got them all over Sweden. At least two or three in every town you go to. And these uh, frappuccinos, by the way, usually don't look like this. They're usually prettier in plastic cups and they usually look like this. So when we were in Stockholm, I bought a jumper when we were doing the Instagram photo day. And the jumper had a hole in it, so I had to go and return it. And we went to another three H&Ms that day and we went to one in every single city that we visited until we got here and none of them had my size in the colour that I wanted. We've just come into H&M and they've got it. You happy now? Very happy. So happy. It's like 30 degrees right now. I'm wearing a jumper but I'm happy. And you got the hat too. I got a hat too. So both of them $30 US approximately. So I'm very happy. Let's go get some lunch. We are now at Spicy Hot in Karlstad and having some lunch. We're having some Thai food and um, I got a chicken with Thai basil and Will got an extra hot red curry. Let's see what it's like. Mm. Good? Yeah, it's really good. I hope yours is hot enough. Will I ask for a six on a scale of one to five? Uh, I'll be the judge of that. Mm. It's really good. Not? It's pretty hot. It's very hot. <clears throat> it's very hot. It's really good. For the last few nights, we've been staying at a campsite near Lake Vanon where you can rent kayaks, you can play frisbee golf, you can play mini golf, and uh, it's been really good. And tonight, I think we're gonna have a barbecue. So, this is Lake Vanon, and it's the largest lake in Sweden. It's the 26th largest lake in the world, and its beach line is 4,500 kilometers. And at our campsite, we have our very own nudist beach, which we were not aware of until we <laughs> came over the rocks and saw a bunch of old naked men. So that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what you're into, it's here. You yeah. can go visit. It is absolutely beautiful down here. Yeah. I really love it. It's stunning. And the sun's about to set, so hopefully we can get some good shots too. It's uh, an amazing location. If you see between the islands, that's like the lake just keeps going. Yeah, it's like an ocean. Mm. The crazy thing to me is that it's 4,500 kilometers and the distance from Sweden to the other side of the world, Melbourne, is about 19,000 kilometers. So the fact that driving around this lake would be equivalent to a quarter of the way to Melbourne, that just blows my mind. <laughs> Insane. What a place. Woo. Yeah, that's cold. That's cold. really cold. Not swimming weather. Time to head home and light the barbecue. You ready? I'm ready. You ready Feed for some barbie? One thing that is not fun with staying this close to a lake is all the mosquitoes. And they love me, so better put some spray on. As soon as the sun goes down, it gets pretty cold, so I had to put on a jumper. We got Will's favorite hot dogs the salsiccia ghost chili and they're really hot, but they're really good. Very, very yummy. Got the potato bag. Yum. You. Did you turn off the oven? I did. Very good. And the hot dogs are ready too, so let's eat. So these ghost sausages are my favorite. They are so good. You need a little bit of tomato, some mustard, just a dash, dry 
crispy onion. Oh, so good. So yummy. Just put it all on there. Just smother it. <laughs> My favorite. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. So this is my plate, a little bit more veggies than Will's, as usual. I got some padrones with some salt on, that's so yummy, but now I'm gonna take a bite of this spicy hot dog. It's very good, but it's very hot. Wake! God, these mosquitoes, it's crazy. Good morning everyone. Good morning. It is now the next day and it is a little bit late in the day as well because we had a bit of a sleep in. We were meant to get up early, go for a kayak, but that didn't happen. So we had to head off on the road. We had to get out of the campsite, pack up the tent and head towards Gothenburg. And we wanted to stop at another spot where we could show you just how huge and amazing this lake is. And we found this incredible little spot where a fortress used to lay. Where are we? Melagud and the fortress was called Dalabor. And it's the only fortress from the middle ages yeah. in this county. So it was here in the 1300s. So the fortress was built on this little extra bit of land which is pretty much surrounded by water with only one entry point from the land and all the brushes and trees were cleared so that they could uh, have a good viewpoint to make sure that if any enemies were coming towards them that they could hit them with bow and arrows or even cannons early day cannons so that's really really cool but i think that one of the coolest things about this fortress is that when winter hits this whole lake freezes and turns to ice so what they do is put sticks in the ice to be able to navigate towards the mainland but what they would actually do is get some sticks and lead them in the wrong direction so that if enemies found them and they started following the sticks it would lead them to thin ice where they would fall and die so that's really cool yeah. the castle was also built up here uh, to create like a natural defense yeah so that the enemies would have to go uphill and the the soldiers that were in the castle could shoot down and that's also why it's surrounded by water that's also like a natural defense thing yeah. Alrighty guys, that's where we're going to end the vlog for today. We've got to head off to Gothenburg to film the next vlog of the Travelling Sweden series. Yeah, and if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get a notification when it's posted. Absolutely, and if you liked this video, do not forget to click like. It doesn't just help us, but it tells YouTube that you liked it and that other people may too, so it gets pushed out to a larger audience. So mm. we'll see you all guys in the next one. Yeah, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Largest amusement park in Scandinavia. <laughs> we are here in Gothenburg's Archipelago.